Hi guys, it's Richard at Plum Dog here. Um, I'm out at a property um, and they've reported that the hot water system is making funny noises. So what we've got behind me is a Ream Stella 330. Now, can you hear that noise? It's like a, a sort of rumbling, popping, noise that in the industry we call kettling. So what that means is the hot water system is due a major service. So this one behind me is approximately seven years, seven years old. Um, manufacturers uh, recommend that we do a major service after about four to five years. Um, and what that really entails, or the major part that entails, is changing the sacrificial hose inside, inside the system. So on this property, I'm fortunate enough that there's actually two ream stellars installed. So I've already started the servicing process on the other one, um, and I thought it was a good idea just to put a quick video together just to explain what we do. So inside the hot water system, there's what we call a sacrificial anode, which is basically a long magnesium rod. So the magnesium rod sits sort of in the center of the tank, and what that does is it sacrifices itself to the impurities in water so that the, those impurities attack the anode rod and not the tank itself. Now, after time, the idea is that that rod will break down. Okay, so the one I've just pulled out of the other system, you can see, so it's, it's still got some in the center, but the very top of it is broken down to absolute nothing. So that's basically just a like a steel supporting rod to hold it all together. Um, so yeah, basically what happens is the anode rod breaks down. Now all of that anode, all the anode sediment uh, has to go somewhere. So what happens is it actually sits on the very bottom of the tank. Okay. So when the hot water system's heating up, like this one is now, you can see it's steaming. Okay. All that sediment is sat on the bottom of the tank and it's just basically going around in circles and circulating. Like with a, a kettle, when you've got lime scale build up, you turn the kettle on, it makes a bit of noise. Well, it's exactly the same thing, okay? So if your hot water system is making funny noises and popping and rumbling, then there's a really good chance that it needs a major service. Okay, so what we do is um, we basically flush the whole tank out. Um, and what we do is we, we sort of circulate the water in the bottom of the tank and we get all of that magnesium anode um, residue out and it flushes out or basically all over the pavers. And then once that's running uh, perfectly clean, like clean water, we know that the tank is clear and then we can put the brand new anode rods in and then we can repeat the process again. So when you spend the time and money in doing this, your hot water system can sometimes double in life. So these Ream Stellars are a 10 year warranty tank. Um, when people regularly replace the anodes and do the major service, we've known them to last 20 years plus. So it's, uh, it's really worth spending the time and money and doing it in my opinion. So just a couple of other things that we do in a major service is that we check the valves. There's a new hot relief valve to go in. There's a new tempering mixing valve to go on this one. New cold relief valve. And that, what we actually do as well is remove the whole gas burner, like this one here. We remove the gas burner and we actually do a service on that as well. Okay, and one of the important things that we do is replace the thermocouple, which is a safety device, okay? So if you've got a hot water system that's not, when you light the pilot, it's not staying on, uh, there's a good chance that the thermocouple needs replacing, so. So anyway, I hope that helps. So if you've got uh, funny noises coming out of your hot water system, give us a call at Plum Dog and we'll be happy to help. Have a good day.